So focusing on the impact and why things are important, I, I think all of us can probably agree that just doing something because someone told us to do it is a lot less meaningful than if we understand why we're doing it in the first place and understand why it's important. Um, so it's a lot easier to get buy-in from the, your department if the central office is explaining why. <laughs> and again, promoting the positives then um, comes down to sort of the same thing. If you understand the long-term benefit for the institution, you're much more likely to want to do it. And it's not just the institution, really, because I mean, you also think about your own professional reputation, um, your networking. Obviously, everybody wants to have a reputation for doing things the correct way. Um, but nobody knows what the correct way is if there's a lack of communication. So from a central office perspective, I, I know that that last slide sounds a little campy, like, yeah, you know, make it positive, <laughs> you know, the compliment sandwich sort of thing. It kind of sounds like we're trying to manipulate our department. So that's not the case. What it is is that often we're just really, really bad at communicating, and we go, you know, we just got to get this done. You just got to do this. You know, it's just, or somebody goes, it's just a high risk. And I cringe every time somebody goes, oh, well, you know, we've been told it's high risk. That in and of itself doesn't mean anything to anybody if they don't understand why. And and so this this whole, you know, making making it positive is really really actually making it beneficial for the parties that are going to have to live with the impacts of it. Um, and then we were also talking about being an advocate for each other, and this is something that goes both ways. That Central can be a resource for departments um, to provide solutions. So uh, sometimes at the department level we get stumped on something and you know we know the end goal that we're trying to get, but we're trying to navigate all of the policies and procedures to get there. Sometimes, you know, you don't have to struggle at that at the department level alone. You can reach out to your central office, and they may have great solutions for you. Um, and then on the flip side, departments can promote compliance and willingness among the PIs by stressing everything that they do. And this, this I know, sounds a little bit cheesy, but um, I would really encourage this because I think we've all, at the department level, we all experience sometimes the PIs don't understand what Central does, and they sometimes see that as a roadblock. So I've focused over the past few years, really tried to focus on promoting the central office, and I try to focus on, you know, explaining what they do and why that helps the PI in the long run. And then I sort of cheerleader everything that they do, you know, every time they step out and they do something extra or they expedite something for them. And I think, oh, man, you have such a nice administrator in your central office doing such great things for you. Um, but I have found, as silly as that seems, that it really has helped also the PIs because they have a better understanding of the purpose of Central and what they're doing and how much work it actually is. And then they're just much more appreciative of you know what they need to do to meet those goals and appreciative of Central's time in general. Um, so I think if you, you know, if both sides are really the advocate for the other, it can really make uh, a much smoother process, <laughs> including with the PIs.